So last SDCC video, at least for now. While the big deal was definitely the Halo Wars 2 stuff, there was some other fairly exciting news on Thursday's Dark Horse panel. There it was confirmed that Frank O'Connor's story for the upcoming anthology comic Tales from Slipspace was not only done, but would explain how Cortana survived the events of Halo 4 and how she found her way into the domain. I don't know about you, but this has me fairly excited. Halo 5 does give us some light details in passing dialogue. Assuming we're right and Cortana is on this planet, how did she get here? The Didact ship was pulled into Slipspace. It could have ended up anywhere. Chief said you were destroyed. After I saw John last, I was pulled into Slipspace. That's where I found access to the Domain. A and let's be honest, something like this should have been released much closer to Halo 5's release. However, I am glad that they're finally getting to it. Even better, it's being done by Frank O'Connor, whose solo work has a damn good track record. Along with the short story Saint's Testimony, Frank O'Connor wrote three stories for Halo Evolutions, Midnight at the Heart of Midlothian, Wages of Sin, and Some of the Painter. He also helped write the Halo 3 ARG Iris and the Halo 3 Terminals. So, as I said, Frank O'Connor has a pretty good track record when it comes to his personal contributions to Halo. Tales from Slipspace will mark his first comic work, as far as I'm aware at least, but it's exciting nonetheless. I've talked before about how I think Cortana found her way into the domain and why she was dragged to Genesis of all places, so it'll be interesting to see how close I was or if I was dead wrong. For funsies and do pad out this video, I'll represent the theory here. So from Halo 4, we know that most of her was in the Didact ship when the nuke went off, only a fragment holding back to get John off the ship and encasing him in hard light. As we learned from a catalog post in 2014, the ship attempted an emergency slipspace jump. While not all of it made it, as we can see by the debris at the end of Halo 4, enough was pulled in, taking Cortana with it. I believe that it was here in slipspace that Cortana found the domain. From the Forerunner saga, we know that there's a connection between the Domain and Slipspace, evidenced by the fact that the Domain was becoming largely unreachable, just as the original 12-ring Halo array was being moved around, an action that put a lot of stress on Slipspace. The reasons behind that are a whole different discussion, but trust me, that's basically what happened. Further, we know that Forerunners needed both their armor, or something else, and an AI to access the Domain. So we have Cortana, on a ship once meant to connect with the Domain, in Slipspace. Basically, everything was in place for her to access it. It'll be interesting to see how much detail O'Connor's story goes into. The comic could potentially confirm or deny many theories about whether Cortana was acting on her own or is being influenced in some manner. We'll see. I would also love if we got a bit of backstory on the Warden, and maybe even something to do with that Forerunner essence that also occupied the Domain. If you recall, he was actually found by Cortana at one point and she tried to hunt him down. Thankfully, she failed. But anyway, that does it for this light bit of news. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.